This university will be proud of you because you have learned how to use your power to change the world. Use this university, your alma mater, as the hub of all your creative initiatives. We would like to learn from you and pass this learning to the next generation of young people so that they can follow your examples. Congratulations to all of you for qualifying to attend today's graduation ceremony. Dr. Al Busedi was the first woman in the Sultanate of Oman to be appointed to full ministerial rank. That her appointment was announced on International Women's Day only underlined Sultan Qaboos's belief in the power of Omani women to drive economic growth. He had famously said, we call upon women everywhere, in the villages and cities, in both urban and Bedouin communities, in the hills and mountains, to roll up their sleeves and contribute to the process of economic and social development. Dr. Al Busedi was superbly equipped for the task with her over 30 years' experience in education, including a doctorate from the University of Oxford in science education and having held various senior posts in, higher in the higher education ministry. So, so that's really what my message is today, that we must harness not only our anger because we cannot realize our greatest ambitions for our world by anger alone. We need more. We will not be satisfied merely with a world that is just. Our dreams are far beyond reaching what merely what is broken. We strive for a world of compassion and peace and respect for one another, where every person is celebrated as a child of God, where all our talents and abilities shine because each of us has found that cause that makes every day worth living. And that world cannot be built by, by righteous anger alone. That world requires something much more, something much bigger. That world requires love. Okay. The rain is going to start over here, and it's going to move across the plane, and then it's going to move out. So I need you to do only the part for your part of the room, okay? You ready? Caledonian University and the values they have had undoubtedly played a very important role in the success I've had in my curling career. Being able to balance such a hectic schedule is a daily battle of mine, however Glasgow Caledonian has most definitely been a huge building block in helping me find that perfect harmony. It taught me the values of commitment and discipline during my studies which I can relate directly to curling and being part of Team Muirhead. Today, as I humbly receive this honor, which I dedicate to the people of South Africa, I wish to reiterate President Mandela's words and express our gratitude to the people of Glasgow in general and the university in particular. Thank you for the role that you have played in the liberation of my motherland. But more importantly, thank you for your continued friendship and partnership with us in South Africa as we, engaged, as we engage in the sacred task of rebuilding a nation after the trauma of apartheid. My parents decided to move to Hong Kong when I was two years old. Growing up there was challenging indeed. My parents wanted me to learn Chinese and sent me to a local school where it took me some time to adopt as I could not speak a single word of Chinese. Looking back, my parents' decision 
paved a way for me to excel my career, and I have no regrets whatsoever. In my secondary and primary education, I was always came last in class. You name it, I was always the last. The headmaster at the time said that I would end up being a loser. I am now fortunate to tell you that I'm now the chairman of that primary school, as well as a board member of that school, secondary school as well. So what was the catalyst for such a transformation, you may ask? Okay. The key is never give up. Focus on your desires, on achieving the impossible. Above all, be curious and don't take things for granted. So, as you all leave us to take up exciting new jobs or progress to further study, remember the values we hold dear here. Trust, honesty, integrity, equality of opportunity, excellence and achievement. Build on these to go from success to success, strength to strength, for yourselves and for others. And we will always be here rooting for you and continue to reach out to you through your Alumni Association because you've made many friends here who will last your lifetime. But your university will always be here for you if you need our help. But also remember to be as ambitious and bold as your university. Aim high for yourselves. As one of the university's most famous honorary graduates, the late Nelson Mandela said, there's no passion to be found in playing small, in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. We look forward to seeing you seize the day, carpe diem, and we won't forget you, for you are our bright future. <laughs>